And hello YouTube, this is Thomas Judge, back once again, and again we have another Fables Deluxe Edition hardcover for my series, Till the Fabled End, in which I will be going through every single Fables Deluxe Edition and more besides. So what we have here is Volume 3, which was our homework from last time. You can see the cover here, with Snow White on the cover there, spoiler warning. Um, the spine, standard Fables spine. Completely aligned. All the spines uh, sync up really well. They haven't got a matching image, but it's very much a matching style and set of themes and motifs. Um, in terms of the back, usual blurb, nice and clear. Uh, French flaps, as usual. We've got some pull quotes from a bunch of different publishers saying how good the series is, which is fair. And then we have the Bill Willingham bio at the back. So exactly like the previous deluxe editions we've seen. And again, the end pages are also just that same kind of purple New York skyline we've seen before. Alright, let's get the dust jacket off and what we have is the same image underneath. This is a slightly unusual painted image in that it actually has the word fables on it. The previous ones we looked at are completely textless whereas this one actually does have some text on it. So if you see the, um, the thumbnail for this video it will have this full image on there um, and it does have some text on it because that's what it is on this, I guess. So, what is in here? So, what we have in here is um, Fables Issues... Oh, bear with me. Here we go. So, it's Fables Issues 19 to 27. So, we've got an introduction by Mark Buckingham. Then we have a story called Cinderella Libertine, which is fantastic. And we then have an eight-part um, uh, story arc called March of the Wooden Soldiers. And we then have the usual at the end, which we'll talk about in a second. One thing I should point out is that this is now collected quite differently to the way the trade paperbacks are collected. So this is the third deluxe edition hardcover, but March of the Wooden Soldiers is the fourth trade paperback. So like I say, the trade paperback contents vary quite substantially from the deluxe edition hardcovers in terms of their sequencing and their pacing. Um, so... Whilst all the deluxe editions contain all the issues in the trade paperbacks, it's not done in quite the same way. So if you want a breakdown as to how those are arranged in the trade paperbacks, then please do check out the Wikipedia page. What we have here is a, um, uh, an intro by the artist in this case. Uh, yes, that's Mark Buckingham. Um, it's quite a good intro there, a decent cover. And then this is the Cinderella Libertine story. Cinderella has her own kind of spin-off stuff going on later on. I know that there's a story called Fairest in All the Land, which is an original graphic novel that comes out much later. And I think, I gather, she may be the main protagonist in the, um, the spin-off series Fairest. But I haven't read Fairest yet. I will as part of this read-through. And I do own it, but I haven't read it yet. But can I just say, this Cinderella story is magnificent. It had a big impact on me. I love the character. I love what they did. Fantastic stuff. Um, we then get into March of the Wooden Soldiers. Now, this is one of those stories that is a callback to one of the previous standalone one-shot issues. In particular, this is a direct callback to the one-shot prestige format comic, The Last Castle, which was actually collected in last week's video in that deluxe edition. So what we have here is, um, yeah, just a, uh, a solid story. I don't want to give any spoilers, what can I say? It's an eight-issue story that's brilliant. This is when Fables really comes into its own. Like, it was fun in Deluxe Edition 1, it was fun in Deluxe Edition 2, but I remember reading this trade paperback years and years ago and just being bowled over. It's brilliant. It's tense, it's dramatic, it's got intrigue, it's got plot points, it's clever, it has all sorts of um, evocative kind of mythic story points about the Fables and fairy tales and all sorts of stuff. It's clever, it's well put together, it's well paced. And it just has twists and turns you don't see coming. Long story short, the adversary, the big bad that has attacked and taken over all the fairy tale homelands, is now attacking them in New York. That's basically the story. But oh my days, the way it is done is just clever, it's excellent, it's well put together. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Um, can't enthuse about it enough. Like I put down the deluxe edition and I was just like, wow, I remember why I enjoyed this so much back in the day. I remember why... Having only read, say, half a dozen trade paperbacks, I went out and bought all 15 deluxe editions because this is utterly banging. Really, really, really good. Um, it's a long story arc. I mean, all the issues kind of work by themselves. They're not all cliffhangers at the end, but it is clearly one big continuous story. And I can see why it was collected in one 
A tissue tray paperback and I can see why it's all collected here. Um, as we can see, the art is pretty much in keeping with what we've seen before with the same kind of interesting framing techniques. Um, just decent dialogue, decent artwork, nice splash page here. Um, and it's just, yeah, I just can't enthuse about it enough. Um, just whilst we're just flicking through, the uh, deluxe edition bind, the quality here, excellent as usual. Um, great binding, great quality paper. Um, yeah, very robust, highly recommended, very glossy. So I'm not going to talk about the story of March of the Wooden Soldier anymore because it's excellent. I don't want to give any spoilers. Um, but what I will do is uh, just flick to the end. Because I don't want to spoil it for anyone because it is great. And then we have Treasures from the Woodland Vaults, which is the um, the usual trade paperback collection extra. So we've got pictures of uh, Big B Wolf here, the Big Bad Wolf. Um, and then a picture of that. So that's actually, I think, from in one of the one of the later issues. I think this one isn't um, good image though. I've got to say, I like these, I like these as pictures, um, and then just you know just some nice extras and the usual bio features. So that's it, short and sweet, but partly because all I wanted to do was enthuse about how good it was, and all I wanted to do was to recommend wholeheartedly um, that you that you read at least this far. If you're not feeling Fables Deluxe Edition one or two. Stick with it to three. If if you don't enjoy this, then you might as well give up because this is great. I mean, the series does get better, as I recall, but this really, I mean, it's it's excellent. 10 out of 10 comic. Love it. Really enjoyable. I can see why it's so popular. So here we have it, the deluxe edition. I'll go put this back on my shelf. Um, and that's it. We're done for this week. Next week's homework is, unsurprisingly, Fables Deluxe Edition, book four. I'll see everyone then. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. As always, please follow me on Twitter at I am Thomas Judge, where I will post uh, a daily review of whatever comics I've been reading. If you get an idea of what I'm up to on the channel, um, and as always, please support the channel by heading over to Amazon.com and checking out my prose novel about superheroes. It's a completely original piece of work. The first episode in it is called Arrivals, and the series as a whole is called No Gods or Kings. You can find an excerpt of that on my website, NoGodsOrKings.com. Until next time, everybody, stay classy.